The Composite Application Guidance and Library, otherwise known as PRISM, has just released, and today we brought in Blaine, um, who can tell us a bit more of what that is. So, Blaine, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us what is PRISM. Okay, thank you, Adam. Uh, my name is Blaine Wastel, and I'm a program manager within the Patterns and Practices team. Okay. And uh, I've been working the client space for the last three years, and with PRISM, we're providing guidance on how to create modular applications that can adapt to constant changing requirements from the business. Hmm. Um, and, and that comes out in the form of a library, mm -hmm. and it also comes out uh, in the form of, of written guidance. Okay. Uh, the patterns to use, uh, and then the implementation of those patterns are in the library and a reference implementation. Great. Okay. And, and we asked you to come today because you have released another version, V2, right? That, that is correct. Okay. So, so the first version focused on WPF, mm -hmm. and that was released last July. Okay. And the version that's coming out now, we call PRISM2, mm -hmm. is for WPF still, Silverlight, right. and then the ability to share code between Silverlight and WPF. Oh. <clears throat> the yeah. first thing to notice is we have a stock trader. Uh, reference implementation. We call it uh, reference implementation, and it's inspired by a true story, although it's not a true application. You would never okay. take and put this out on the trading floor right. and, and trade trade stock. <laughs> what okay. we're trying to do is demonstrate the patterns, again, the MVVM pattern, mm -hmm. uh, and, and how to do composite or modular applications. That's that's the goal of this reference implementation. There's a lot of things that we will stub in the back end that, because we don't really care about that. We care about the how to how to right. architect your your presentation okay. layer. So a couple things to note. <clears throat> we have multiple stocks here and as I select a different stock uh, over here on the left uh, it's changing. And one of the things that's happening as I do that, um, say stock six when I select it, it sends a message over to the news and and the the graph, the chart on, on the historical data. Mm -hmm. And what's happening there, there's a loose Reference. Okay. So, so let's just go look quickly at the at the solution structure here. So as I mentioned, we have uh, separate modules, and right now I have it open for you know here's the desktop which is WPF, and here's our Silverlight version. So if we look at Silverlight, we have a position module, mm -hmm. um, we have the market module, okay. and the market module basically is the one that's updating the price mm -hmm. uh, as we go. Uh, we have a watch module, which I didn't demonstrate, but basically if I want to watch a stock and, and purchase at some point. And the oh, last okay. one is the news module. Okay. So those are the different modules, and those can uh, evolve independently. So now if I go into the position module, for example, I just want to show you back to the references. Let's just look at the references. And if we look here, we don't see, any, we don't see a reference to the news module. Mm -hmm. and, right. and again, that's a, that's a loosely coupling that that we're providing within the library of, of Prism itself. Okay. Um, now, also, let's go ahead and go to the models. And if you see, there's a link here, and we're using Visual Studio's ability to link files. Right. And so, what we're able to do then is link uh, the models between Silverlight and WPF. In this case, okay. we actually started because of Prism One. We started with code in WPF, mm -hmm. so we're linking the Silverlight version okay. um, to, to WPF. And if I double click, you know, I'll, I'll pull it up, but it's one shared file right. between the two of them. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead now and let's just show this, oops, let's show this in um, the WPF version. And you'll see it's essentially the same same look and feel. Mm -hmm. It's just it's in, in WPF. 